to most people, our little trailer is way too small. And to some people, it's the Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah. But we're here to tell you today in this video that it's the little things that make all the difference. When you think about the things that you take along in your RV, um, other than the furnishings, you know, um, the fold-down table, your bedding, sleeping bags as opposed to blankets, the other stuff that people might not think of or overlook because they're just thinking RV stuff. But we've come up with some things that we've brought along. Things that we always bring along things for just make things a little more comfortable. Now we're not talking about a tool kit. We're not talking about a medical kit. We're not talking about tables and chairs and things like yeah. that. We're talking about the little the things. The little things like clothespins. <laughs> Let's start with that. <laughs> okay, clothespins. They're great not only for hanging clothes, but for clipping things onto a line for giving Rick a safe place to put his precious hat without it getting crushed or falling off and then stepped on. Um, and these are actually chip bag clips, but they work better than the traditional wooden um, clothespin. And we use them to close chips. We use them to hang stuff up with clothespins. What brought this entire discussion up in the first place was a couple of days ago, I went to move a couple of coat hooks. So as I was moving them, I realized how important they were. You got to have a place to hang your coat, your jacket, your fleece, your hat. It's just a comfort item. And speaking of comfort, a well-placed reading light is essential for us readers or just us people that get up in the middle of the night to uh, go to the um, boys' room. Outhouse? <laughs> In-house. <laughs> a conveniently placed charging area just for your cell phones, your camera batteries, or whatever else it is that you want to charge up. It can be something built in like this, or it can be a special place where you um, put your power station, your charging station, your power station, whatever it is, many times a day, you're going there to use it. Okay, and how about a small shovel? It is a small shovel. <laughs> uh, we use it all the time for leveling out our um, trailer parking, for digging out fire pits, for digging other holes, and for moving material around. We originally used it for uh, metal detecting, but brought it along on several trips and found that we used it all the time. It's also great for digging out a latrine when you're out in the wilderness. How about places to stuff stuff? Bins or baskets. These were just cheap Walmart baskets that we hung up. But boy, are they handy. And while you're here, how about an indoor outdoor thermometer? It's great for people like me that never know how to dress for the weather outside. And especially first thing in the morning when you just got up and you don't know what's going on outside, it really helps. What also helps is having a dedicated flashlight, a good flashlight and a headlamp for each person, kept handy where you know exactly where it is. Like I keep a flashlight right in here and my headlamp is right up here. And while we're on the subject of lights, a spotlight for those noises at night and you think it's a bear or something and you shine the spotlight out into the woods because they can really reach out and you see it's just a deer. <laughs> Comfort item. One more light, just a simple little portable light that that you can use when you're just digging into a cabinet or something or digging under the bunk and you just got to kind of place something down there for light. Just something simple like this can make a huge difference. Just a simple light. Okay, how about a rechargeable candle lighter? We use these to light our propane stove and our propane cook stove. We don't use the butane anymore because it doesn't light at high altitude or in the cold. But we keep them around just for novelty's sake. 
you know, with all the cell phones and cameras and everything that we've got, one thing that becomes a really big problem is all those cords, all the USB, the USB C's, the USB C to USB C, and the charging cables, the cigarette lighter, lighter plug cords, and everything else. They have to go somewhere. I bought two of these cases. Uh, this is a Mateen brand. Got them off of Amazon. I keep one in the car and I keep one in the trailer. And that's where all my cords go. And it's got a deeper pocket underneath where you can put things like your um, two-way radios. I happen to have those in here in the car. Your GPS. And it just keeps everything nice and neat. So whenever we need a cord, we know where to go. Whenever we need to store a cord, we know where to store it. Another handy thing to have is a notepad. Uh, it's always nice to write down your grocery list. Or you meet people along the way and you need to write down their information. Got it right here. <laughs> and another thing that's very essential for all of us is a mirror. <laughs> so we can do our morning wash up you know the the guys can shave and and look nice and clean and the ladies can make sure that everything is in the right place at the right time also in an emergency you can signal with it and these mirrors are pretty handy because they have this folding leg back there and you can hang it anywhere for any height batteries i got tired of forking out the money for uh batteries they're so expensive rechargeables are expensive too but boy these have paid for themselves many many times over so we always keep a supply of double a and triple a rechargeable batteries on hand i keep them right here in this battery organizer uh it's just one of those things it's nice to have this one also came with a uh a meter so you can test the batteries just to see if they're dead or not. But yeah, this is a simple thing too, just for comfort is plenty of batteries and a place to put them. Another cool thing, little thing that um, you don't think about, it's nice to have. So you know those dog rugs that you have at your house so when your dog walks across it, this gets the dirt and debris off their paws. So if you walk across it with your shoes, it does the same thing to the bottom of your shoe as it does to a dog's paws. And it keeps the dust and dirt down to a better level inside your trailer. But the most comforting item you can have, I mean, when you finally go into your trailer at night, you close the door and you hear some annoying noises, what brings more comfort than America's favorite rifle? the assault rifle, but I'm not talking about that rifle. I'm talking about the salt gun. It's called an assault gun and this shoots salt. <laughs> and it's like, a, it's like a little salt shotgun, but it's so much better than chasing mosquitoes, those noisy mosquitoes around the trailer with a fly swatter or flies. Or flies, yeah. Because the flies always get away. They do. But not with this. <laughs> <laughs> That's so easy. You see a fly, you aim at it, you nail it. It's gone. It's gone. Hey, you guys, uh, we really hope you got something out of this video. We had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was, yeah. Be sure, like, share. We really need you guys to subscribe. That helps the channel grow. Comments make the channel grow. Hope to see your comment down below this video. Bye. See you around.